She is right. She is ready to be picked. She, <laughs> so dumb. Hello, welcome to that time of the, I almost said week. Thank goodness it's not weekly. Time of the month where Aunt Flo is in town and she's a real bitch. <laughs> I also have been wearing this Oceanside Fire Department shirt covered in Leo's hair for literally three days. And so this is going to give me a reason to emerge from my house uh, and be maybe less of a hermit, but probably not. Not only is Aunt Flo in town, but it's also Mercury retrograde, so. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, so I haven't opened this palette collection, whatever you wanna call it. It is a collection, not just a palette. Ah, ColourPop Sailor Moon. I grew up watching Sailor Moon like after school every day, so. This has a special place in my heart and I hope that it is as cool as the show is slash was. Did you guys, okay, let's be a professional YouTuber and turn my phone on silent. My mom is like trying to work out, come to visit me and she's blowing me up. This collection is $89 in total. I also have a ColourPop discount code. Should you wish to use it on any of your future purchases online, it's just, I think it's just Kristen. I'll put it on the screen. Um, so I believe it works with this collection. This video is not sponsored. I just got this in the mail. I just opened it up like a minute ago and I just wanted, I had to put makeup on today anyway. So I thought it would be cool to film this. Honestly, I also have been wearing this Oceanside Fire Department shirt covered in Leo's hair for literally three days. And so this is going to give me a reason to emerge from my house uh, and be maybe less of a hermit, but probably not. This comes with a eyeshadow palette. I haven't opened any of this. I wanted to open this on camera to kind of like capture my realistic reactions of these. And I'll go ahead and do a little bit of swatching today because my ass finally went and got some makeup wipes and I don't have a faux tan on today. And then we've got two packages of, I think they're both ultra blotted lip. These I always use with lip liner because I always like to make my top lip a little bit bigger. So we've got those guys and then we've got two different shades of blush. This is pressed powder blush. And then we have ooh, more stuff to add to my glitter collection. On Instagram I put like my glitter collection. I organized it the other day and it was just really, it was doing things for me that I didn't even know were possible. I was like looking at it I was like, oh, Jesus, hallelujah, this looks amazing. Really into the glitter and just makeup organization in general. So then we've got two glitterly obsessed shades. So I'm excited to see what these are. I am obsessed. I'm glitterly obsessed with glitter. I love these. I think they're rad. I'm also going to stagecoach. I um, have never been a stagecoach and I just bought my parents' tickets to go as well. So, and I got an Airbnb out in Palm Springs, so I'm super stoked. This is gonna be really fun. We're gonna go with Nick and my family and just like to hang out with my parents. You know, my parents are where it's at. They've got the best stories. Let's open this up. This is a 12 pan Sailor, it's just, it's a the Sailor Moon palette. <gasps> this is so cool. I am obsessed with this. That is so rad. Okay, let's open this together. Moment of truth. Okay. Interesting shade ch choices. Uh, love this one. Also love like the golds and stuff though. What are we gonna do today? Oh my goodness. Looks like we've got quite a few mattes in here. This looks like kind of like maybe a pressed kind of a glitter situation that we might need some um, glitter glue on there. And then this is just like, the, oh, oh my goodness. Huh. These are kind of like, kind of the same situation. They're like really metallic-y. Let's check this purple out. This purple looks, <laughs> it's called Luna. Ooh. Oh, that's so pretty. I kind of want to just put that over the entire eyelid as well. This is so cute and I love that too because this kind of thing was like really big back in my childhood 
and I like it. it's like kind of making a comeback, so this is really fun. I like that a lot. The packaging is really cute too. Like if you're a Sailor Moon fan, like this is probably something you'd want to keep the palette in maybe, or just keep it in general. So cute. Okay, let's look at the blushes next. I've been really into blush lately. Like it's one of my, it's always been one of my favorite parts of my makeup routine, but I've just been really, oh, they did it on the blush too. Oh, it's so cute, they're different. That is so cute. Oh my goodness, this is so freaking cute. Let's look at one at a time so we can appreciate. Oh my gosh, this is so good. So good. These like just bring me joy. Oh, they're the same. Actually, it's the same one. Oh, okay, wow. Ooh, that's very pink. We've got a mirror inside, so that's cool. Um, and then this one right here is called From the Moon, and then this one's called Cat's Eye, and it's imprinted with the kitty. Oh, gosh, I can't even remember what her cat's name is. I probably should have looked that up. I swear I watched it all the time, but I just don't retain information like that. I'm, I'm not very good with it. Um, right off the bat, I was hoping that there would be a little more of a natural toned one. We got pink and pink. This one is obviously a little more natural toned with a little bit of glitter in there and a little bit of glitz and glam. But I think it would have been cool with the, um, with kind of like, you know, some more of these shades, if there was something that was a little more on the orangey neutral side, that would have been great. I, I totally understand the pinks though. It's like Sailor Moon, I get it. So this is the package with, let's see. This packaging is so cute, the little top. So the corally kind of pink shade is the ultra blotted lip and it's called Usagi. And then uh, the ultra glossy lip is Moon Tiara. Interesting shades, not something I would ever grab myself. I hate the way these lip glosses smell. It almost smells like a, I don't know how to describe this. It's like a gingerbread kind of smell or like a, some sort of a cookie smell that they try and put in candles, but it ends up just kind of smelling like a rotting cookie instead. I also wanted to mention that the gloss has this like little tiny brush applicator as well. It's not like the typical doe foot. Okay, more pink. I'm, I'm feeling the same way about the blushes I did about these, that just a lot of pink. Like why not a not pink blotted lip? <laughs> so this one, uh, the ultra blotted lip, which is this guy here, is uh, called Bunhead. And then the glossy lip with this one is called Sailor Moon. I guess I'm gonna put one of those on today with this look since it is part of the package, but um, if I'm honest, I would never wear either of these pinks. They're just too pink for me. I just don't, I typically go with like a bright eyeshadow look or something or a more neutral eye look. And I pretty much just always do nude because I don't like to draw attention to my lips as much because they're not, they don't look the way that I would prefer. When I first get them done, I'm like, ooh, I'm gonna wear gloss and like whatever, but then that's just like my own personal thing, you know? So if you like pinks and stuff, those might be good for you. Ooh, okay, I just pulled out the Glitterly Obsessed. <laughs> the Glitterly Obsessed shades are rad. So the packaging is super cute. The top is like adorable. And then these are the shades. These are really, really, really pretty. And I like these because I feel like these are different than any other kind of glitter like this. I don't think I have any baby pink and I don't think I have any like lilac like that. So let's go ahead and swatch these. So cool. The baby pink one is called Moonlight Legend. I just wanna smear that all over my body and then jump on Nick and be like, have fun with them. <laughs> That's just the kind of person I am. Glitter for everybody, you know what I mean? If you can't hang, then I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. So dipping into the other one, this one actually is a bit different in the sense that it actually has little tiny stars and moons inside of the glitter, whereas the other one is just the regular glitter shaped pieces regular glitter shaped. Do you know what I mean? Does that make sense? Are you picking up what I'm putting down? This one is called Moon Prism Power. Love that. Can you guys see the freaking stars? Today I'm gonna go in with the pinks and purples and a little bit of the yellow on the lower lash line, I think. 
I think. I'm gonna go ahead and dip into Luna, which is that beautiful purple. It's very uh, powdery. Um, oh, it's already falling everywhere. Oh, okay then. I'm gonna put this all up in here. Very descriptive, aren't we? That's a pretty shade. That is pretty, uh, some of it got in my eye and it's like burning. Ay, ay, ay. So I dampened that a bit and that looks like it makes a big difference in how this turns out. It's way more metallic-y and pretty. And now I'm gonna go in with this one right here. I think these look really good together. I'm gonna meet these up. It's a pretty lackluster shade going on right there. Looks like you can layer these up too a little bit, but I was hoping that would be a little bit brighter right off the bat. The shade is a little bit more boring than I expected it to be. Thought it was gonna be kind of as bright as it was in the pan, but you really gotta do quite a bit of layering to get that out of it. It's not a bad thing. Um, it's just if you want a really bright shade, that's kind of the road you're gonna have to take. Where I'm trying to blend it with the other one, since this one's the purple is a little more glittery than I anticipated, it's kind of wiping it away. You can see it's like not really there. So it's kind of wiping it away a bit. So I'm kind of gonna try and reapply it with this brush. This is about as pigmented as I can get the pink to be. Um, it was kind of difficult to get it to this point and I feel like looking at this in the pan, this is kind of where you'd want it, if not a little bit more pigmented. So not super stoked with the two shades I've used so far. I mean, I wouldn't say that I hate them, but I don't love them. Okay, so moving on to blush, I think I'm gonna do the more natural of the two, if that's even possible. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead with cat eyes over here. But first I'm going to, and then we'll finish off the eyes. Oh, I forgot to close this door, Leo's so loud. I think a highlight would have been really cool with this collection too, cause like all the pink, okay, there's something in my freaking eye. Oh my gosh, where is it? I'm gonna use the Smashbox and the Hood Witch Crystallized Highlighter. Okay, this, this hair is like really trying to ruin my life right now. Yes, yes, yes I do. So I'm just, I like to put my highlighter on before I put my blush on. Um, oh, that looks pretty with this eyeshadow. I like to put my highlight on before my blush because I always feel like if you put highlight right on, you always have like a like line of it, whereas when the blush goes on here, it diffuses it out a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna go into this guy. Seems pretty pigmented. I'm gonna dab some of that off. It's more pigmented than the pink eyeshadow, what the hell? Okay, that's going on a lot less well, maybe it's the same, I don't know. It looks a lot different on my skin tone than it looks in the pan. So that's, that's good. A little bit on the nose or a lot. Whoops, hello. <laughs> I'm rethinking the yellow in this because it's just so nice as it is, but I do like the pop of yellow in there. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna still do that. We're just, we're gonna go for it. Ooh, that's got a lot of kickback. And put it just in the center. Okay. That's a really pretty shade. That yellow is good. Ooh. Granted, I'm not like experimenting with blending it out, but that's pretty. <coughs> I wish the palette had a mirror. That'd be cool. Going back into, um, let's see. We're gonna go in with the Luna, which is our iridescent purple. I'm gonna pick some of that up on the brush. A lot comes off and spray it. Give it a good spray. And then I'm going to put that in the inner corner. Oh my gosh, it's burning my eyes. It might be the setting spray. Mm. 
Okay, that looks so different than what we've done over here. What is going on? Mercury retrograde, I swear. Alrighty then. Taking the Moonlight Legend Glitterly Obsessed. This is the pink one. I'm gonna take a little bit of that. I'm gonna just pop some of this right on the yellow. Every time I'm like, oh, I'm gonna do a super like natural look. <laughs> and then I'm like, <laughs> Okay, so lips. I personally really don't like either of these. I'm sure these would look good on someone with a darker skin tone. I just feel really like, I sometimes feel like I'm trying to dress up like a doll if I do just with my pale skin and like bright pink lips. I just, it's not something I like. So I think I'm gonna skip these. Actually, I'm gonna put one on just so you can see what it looks like and then I'm gonna skip it and we're gonna do lip liner and a gloss. Okay, so the um, applicator in these is actually really small. I'm pretty sure this is like a lot smaller than the normal ColourPop ones. Oh, perfect. I grabbed literally another um, uh, uh, ultra blotted lip, so that's good. Okay, my eyelashes are sticking to my bottom lashes. It's so freaking annoying. Um, yeah, it's definitely different. If you can see, the Sailor Moon one just looks like a little cheaper, smaller. I'm gonna guess from a brand perspective, you can't just print Sailor Moon's picture on stuff. Like you gotta pay a lot of money to use a copywritten thing that big. It's like Hello Kitty, you know? So they probably spent a lot of money paying for that. Okay, so I'm gonna use a uh, bun head and that probably took up a lot of the budget. Dude, my I'm so crusty right now. I have been drinking tons of water and my lips and my face, like I'm crusting over here and like up here. Like, I don't know, I'm just really crusty right now. Okay. I'm like nervous. <laughs> okay, I'm just so crusty right now too. My lips are gonna fall off. This blotted lip formula, oh my, ooh, girl. I love this blotted lip formula, I think it's rad, but I wish I had big voluptuous lips. Like I would use this every day. This stuff is awesome. Do I have to finish? Do I have to finish this, you guys? No. Okay. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> I love the blotted lip formula. I really do. I think it's great. It like feels so good. I just wish I had big lips, but you know, can't have everything that you want. Still maintain the same opinion. I do not like these pinks. I really wish there was like you can't wear these pink shades with the more natural shades in the palette. Like they just wouldn't look good. And then if you've got pink, purple, and pink going on, you just, you look, you look like a character out of Sailor Moon, which is maybe, you know, the goal. But for me, for wearability and stuff, I just, those pinks, uh -uh. I was looking at this towel and I'm like, oh my gosh, what did I use last time? It's a Jaclyn Hill. I did a review on the Jaclyn Hill palette from Morphe. If you haven't seen that, I'll link it for you in the description box. Don't know where that accent came from. Okay. My lips are so crusty. I'm going to take the, uh, what is in my teeth? Nothing? Oh. I'm going to take the more um, brown of the lip glosses. As you can see, I'm going to take this one. It's a little more orange brown, uh, corally, light coral. It's called Moon Tiara. And I put this over top. Ugh, it just smells so gross. I hate this smell. We are done here. We're done here, folks. Uh, thoughts on the collection overall? Um, okay, now we have a different accent. <laughs> I think there's positives and negatives about this palette. I didn't, I, I don't like any of the lip products personally. I don't like the shades. I do not like the smell. Let me see if the blotted lip smells the same way as the gloss. No, it doesn't. Just the gloss smells like ass. I don't like the gloss. I love the Glitterly Obsessed. I think these are so pretty. I wish the pink came out a little bit more pink. It's a little just takes on like whatever shade you put it on top of for the most part, it seems. The blush, too many pinks. I, I get it. It's a pink themed palette, but like again with the lips and the blush, I wish that it was a little more well-rounded, especially if you're buying the whole collection for $89. It would be cool to not have two pink blushes, but like maybe a pink and maybe 
like an iridescent pink maybe that could like also work as highlighter in a way and then also like a more neutral toned blush that would fit with some of these other um you know coppery pretty brown nude shades in the palette this color i was a little disappointed with it is not nearly as pigmented as you know any of the other pressed pinks that i've used from ColourPop. this was a little difficult to work with um we got there but it did take some wetting of the brush and a lot of layering there was a lot of kickback on a lot of these shades which is usually fine if there's a lot of pigment and i didn't find there to be a lot of pigment in the pink um the yellow uh called justice that one was quite pigmented i did like that um i really do like this corally shade right here like these two would be pretty to try out i do want to try these guys out as well because they look really really pretty again i think those ones are you're gonna have to use um based on what i saw with the purple i think you're gonna want to use like a glitter glue or definitely like an eyeshadow base before you put it on. Overall, I think the color selection in the palette is a little interesting. Um, I don't really know where the browns and the golds came in since really nothing else in the collection matches that. Like there's not really a blush for that. There's not really a lip product for that. Maybe unless you use like this, this one, but like I would never put this pink with any of this right here. And I also wouldn't put it with this because this is like, that's just pink on top of pink on top of pink. And I, I'm not a five-year-old playing with her mom's makeup. So I don't know. Uh, what do you guys think about this collection? Are you kind of disappointed by this representing Sailor Moon in general? Do you love it? Do you love the shades? Like, what do you like? What do you don't like about it? I'd love to hear. It's always interesting to like try product out online and then put a video up and you have no idea what anyone else thinks about the collection because you just filmed it and you haven't watched anything about it. So I think that's a good thing because I don't want anyone else's opinions to like sway mine before like I sit down and film. But now that I have already filmed and worked with it, I would love to hear what you guys think. So I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Let me know what you guys think about this collection. Is it one that you would grab? Would you only have grabbed bits and pieces or would you buy the whole damn thing? Let me know. Um, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for sitting here, hanging out with me and watching. And I'm gonna go get myself a Corona. Bye guys.